I don't, I don't know. It's all I'm saying is it's very very complicated. See what I did there? I uh, I debated Chris's position. Uh, I used skepticism to counter his arguments. It's very, very complicated. This video by Armored Skeptic is shit. It's one of his worst videos that I've ever had to watch. Right up next to the series, Internet Atheist Proves That the World is Round. Now the reason it's so bad isn't just because Skepo here basically flubs around the entire fucking video saying nothing of any real value and avoiding taking a stand on well, anything. In fact, it seems like the only thing Skepo actually said, the only statements of fact or opinion he made in the video, were wrong. Like seriously, demonstrably wrong. As in, I could have proved you wrong with a fucking Google search. Destiny just said the Japanese people are racist. Like as a nation, they're a racist people. I'm sure if we asked him about this again, he would word it differently, right? What I dislike most about this video isn't the fact that it gets things wrong, and it does a lot. But I mean, I've gotten things wrong. I've uploaded videos with spelling errors and other mistakes before. What I dislike the most about this video is the air of pompous ego that surrounds the entire fucking thing. I use skepticism to counter his arguments. You see what I did there? I uh, used skepticism to criticize the character of a leading figure on YouTube. Now, I'm not gonna go through this video and talk about the specific things that made it so wrong, because Dr. Lehman has already made a video on this topic that you all should really watch. It's an amazing video. What I'm gonna talk about is a sort of list of personal issues I have with the skeptic community. Because watching Dr. Layman, someone with actual scientific credibility, absolutely shred Greg's video reminded me of how much I truly dislike this community. Now there's some people in this community who will remain unnamed, who behave like some kind of weaselly spineless snake in the grass. Whenever I talk to them publicly, they're so nice and polite, and we can have a reasonable discussion. But over Twitter, they get their little fucking feelings hurt and block me over a mild joke, and behind my back, they approach my friends and suggest that they should stop associating with me because of my many so-called racist dog whistles. I just can't tell you how spineless, empty, and pathetic I find this kind of behavior. To these people, the label skeptic or rational is nothing more than a gross buttress to their own putrid, childish ego. But I'm honestly not sure which I think is worse. People who hide behind this fedora tipping tism to boost their ego, or people who use the label skeptic as some kind of bland fucking marketing scheme. I mean, to return to the original video by Armored Skeptic, anyone with half a brain cell can tell that the Armored Sheckler is obviously just hopping on the bandwagon of this internet controversy to gain some short-sighted media visibility and desperately claw at YouTube relevancy. Which I mean, that, that's not a bad thing in and of itself. YouTube is a game, and it's not a bad thing to play to win. But if fame and attention and YouTube clicks mean you have to sell all your intellectual standards down the river and listlessly drift from one fence-sitting, pasteurized, unopinionated point to another, then you might as well have not made a fucking video in the first place. I mean, from everything that I've seen, Skepo either makes videos where he blatantly bandwagons internet drama for clicks, or he makes skeptic videos about the lowest hanging fruit I can fucking imagine, like the earth being round. And when Skepo does make videos about more complicated subjects, he basically garbles the entire video into some strange postmodernist wonderland through the looking glass modern art piece that I can't fucking make heads or tails of. And I'll be honest with you guys, I wouldn't care so much about the mistakes of some rando logic clone if Armored Skeptic didn't have such a fucking ego problem. This is the same guy who for some time was trying to characterize himself and some other leading YouTubers as the second coming of the four atheist horsemen. I mean, you remember those guys, right? The scientific intellectuals who were thought leaders within their respective fields, who'd written a number of books or scientific studies to both popularize and add research veracity to their respective intellectual positions? Well, we're just like them, cause we do YouTube! Just, ugh. 
What the fuck are you doing? The height of this entire ridiculous debate is the fact that a number of people in the YouTube skeptosphere have taken to calling themselves a rationalist. Now there's a quip in the apology that Dr. Lehman penned on Minds.com, an apology that he wrote to Skeppo because of the tone of his video, an apology that I personally don't think he should have made, where he says, because spoiler alert my deuterinos, rational, logical, empiricist, etc. are highly specific, very often context-dependent terms. Just because you use them to spice up your sentences doesn't make you smart. Quite the contrary, it makes you look like a fucking scrub. And he's so fucking right. This is something I've known for a while. The philosophy of rationalism is the doctrine that reason alone is a source of knowledge and is independent of experience, independent of scientific experimentation, and independent of your human senses. You people are not rationalists. You people are empiricists because empiricism is the practice of relying on observation and experiment as the source of knowledge. Empiricism and rationalism are like polar fucking opposites of each other, but you're only using the phrase rationalist because you knuckle-dragging plebeians think rationalist sounds intelligent. This isn't a problem that only affects people I have negative opinions about. Sargon of Akkad, someone who I'm not friends with necessarily, but who I'm acquainted with and generally like as a person, has fallen into the same kind of bullshit. For, for fuck's sake, here's an entire stream of Sargon of Akkad arguing with harmful opinions, saying that harmful shouldn't be criticizing people in our community who took sponsorship deals from Candid because apparently that's counterproductive to the cultural war. We've gone from criticism equals harassment to criticism equals some kind of fucking purity test. And I'm gonna tell ya, I can't tell the fucking difference between these two arguments. Social justice collectivism is bad, and the only way we can fight it is with collectivism. Arnita Sarcasimo is not in power anymore and the social studies warriors are removed from power and terminated on site. This kind of shit infuriates me. A lot. And the reason why I'm making this video isn't so much to respond to the skeptic community as it is to respond to Dr. Lehman's apology, specifically here. I always understood my sad little corner of the internet to be some kind of shitty, meme-ridden, not peer-reviewed, wannabe journal where everyone just kind of posts ideas and everyone else responds in turn. And contrary to the sound of that, I actually love that idea. Big fan of it. But it hinges upon us actually discussing ideas, not sucking anyone's dick because Senpai noticed me XDDD and she's cute, thus she's right. Because this kind of attitude actually allows for such low levels of discussion that anti-anti-SGW YouTube seems like the Academy of Athens. Layman couldn't be more right. This situation has perturbed me for a while. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with ridiculing someone for doing something stupid. I don't think there's anything wrong with making videos attacking someone's character. I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to promote your own ideological position. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to make money on YouTube, and I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to be entertaining. This entire video isn't meant to condemn Armored Skeptic. It's meant to criticize him. The way you and your girl have reacted to this criticism so far shows how much you desperately desperately need this criticism. Yeah, Armored Skeptic is just being attacked by all these political extremists because he's too centrist. He's too skeptical. He's too smart to take a side or have any opinion on all these political issues. So Dr. Lehman, an extremist commie, and that guy T, an alt-right fascist, are criticizing Skeptic for being too moderate. They certainly weren't criticizing Greg for being factually incorrect on everything he fucking said in the video. That wasn't a mealy-mouthed refusal to say anything of value at all. Look, Greg, you see this video? This is good content. You see this one? This too is good content. You've made good content in the past. In fact, your last video was pretty good. But this video, it's shit. Improve your content. 
In fact, I feel that the entire reason that the anti-SJW community exists is because social justice wasn't being given enough criticism. The entire reason we exist as YouTubers is to provide the kind of criticism that the viewers feel has been lacking for the past few decades as leftist ideologies overtake and dominate media and cultural outlets. And I'm not trying to say that every single video from, quote, our side, unquote, has to be some kind of tomb of scientific knowledge. There's room for memes, ridicule, story time, and entertainment. Teal Deer can exist peacefully in the same ideological spectrum with me. What I'm saying is the entire reason our site exists is to further this open marketplace of ideas. We are all engaging in the propaganda of the deed of freedom of speech. We believe that if you create an open marketplace of ideas where there is a veracity of dissenting opinions, our ideas and the best ideas will rise to the top. The real target of this video isn't Armored Skeptic. As much as he deserves criticism for this shit video. The real target of this video is a subset of the fans. After my video criticizing Bernie Sanders and responding to The Amazing Atheist, I got an avalanche of backlash from a broad range of internet users, and surprisingly enough, a significant number of my longtime fans disliked my video because apparently I was too mean. And I should have taken this topic a lot more seriously in order to win over the hearts and minds of the opposition. My videos about feminism, Islam, and Black Lives Matter were perfectly fine, but just as soon as I was criticizing a politician and an internet celebrity that you enjoy, I'm just creating drama. I'm just doing it for attention. I should be on the same side as these people. Don't you know that you're creating division among people on our side? I can't tell you how pathetic and disgusting I find this sentiment. In fact, I find it so pathetic and disgusting that I went on to the Drunken Peasants, TJ's little live stream, to prove to you fuckboy fans that I can have a disagreement with someone without having to end all communication with them. That I, unlike you, can behave like a fucking adult. And I mean this when I say it. I have more respect for social justice warriors than I have for you people. Because at the very least, when they try to create some pustulous echo chamber, when they try to silence dissent or tone police people, when they demand the criticism be halted, they're doing it in the favor of some kind of ideological goal. You are doing the exact same thing as them. Except you're doing it because your pathetic fucking feelings get hurt when someone criticizes your favorite anti-SJW E celeb. All we have to do in order to win this culture war that you're so desperate to enlist everyone in, the culture war that I want to win too, is be better than the alternative. But you can't manage the kind of intellectual growth necessary to improve, quote, our side, unquote, because you can't stand when your favorite ideology or e-celeb gets criticism. To this end, I have decided to issue a meme jihad against you fanboys. I'm here to announce that this content may not reflect the views or opinions of my sponsors. And I also may not have the same views or opinions of my sponsors. However, this content has been sponsored in part by a $5 donation by Harmful Opinions. Go subscribe to his new channel. Link in the description. See what I did there? I, uh... Uh, I, here in my garage, just bought this, uh, knowledge. Skepticism.